You know when they compare Ronaldo and Messi, mm. they always say who is the best. Ronaldo, Messi. Now what do we move this? Mm. So are we ready? So you all know me as the number one. I don't want to introduce myself again. People know me. My name is Samuel, by the way, and I'm here with my colleagues. Hello, ma. Yusuf, aka Poloskis. Okay, so we are here again. Another beautiful Friday. Mm -hmm. um, and we want to do a little bit of comparison um, of two famous movies, actually four. Um, Brotherhood, Blood Sisters, Dune, and The Rebel Moon. And for all the sci-fi fits out there, you guys should know. So we're going to start with Dune and Rebel Moon. So let me ask um, Omar, mm. what was your take on Dune and Rebel Moon? Um, well, for me, Dune is a nice movie in terms of the whole gaga that was there. Yeah. The plot is nice, though I have my little issue with the movie, the ending. Okay, what's the <laughs> Yeah, and it's not it's not a personal thing. It's actually like it's a scripted movie. So mm -hmm. yeah. It's about the guy, you know, what the way he left the kill. Yeah. Actually. How? Like, after after I love you, you see went for someone else. Are you okay? I mean, wait, he chose to he knew, he even told the girl, I still love you. Yeah. But that's his duty. Exactly, the duty. I would have preferred if that duty was stated from the beginning. From the beginning, yeah, so that someone will know what they are going into. Okay, so in other words, you prefer like you don't want it to be okay. Is it? It's going to be typical. Just like the why they have friends with benefits. Mm. Yeah. So probably that would have worked. Then you telling like you know how would I put it because you walked into that girl's heart and she opened up. She was kind of she had her walls before, and then she opened up at the end. You are doing your duty. Wait, yeah, like, wait, like wait, making wait. her believe that you guys are in a relationship and it's just one sided. It she was the only one, she was the only person in the relationship, not the guy. To me, I don't think, uh, what's his name in that movie? Um, oh, Atreus. Yeah, yes. I don't think it was really one sided. It's one sided, one sided. Though he was very kind of manipulating with his mom, I don't know. I don't think it was very, very straightforward. But I, don't re I can't really say it's one sided. But even with that duty, you are playing. Make it obvious. So that was my take on that end. For Rebel Moon, yeah, Rebel Moon is. Oh, I like the action. I like the characters. Yeah, is a movie of, will I say, still mistakes and trying to correct it and uh, fighting for what is right, even if it's a very risky task, something like that. For Dune, Dune is taking up. I think going back to restore what they stole from you, something like that, for me, for June. So, yeah. Okay, follow. That's that for me. I don't really have much to say on it because it was just the clips I watched. So, I don't really, I don't really have much idea on it. I don't really have much to say on it. Mm -hmm. no. But for for Rebel Moon, there was a lot of controversy inside Rebel Moon. I loved the whole idea about Rebel mm. Moon. The characters inside Rebel Moon, they fascinated me. Especially, um, there's this prince, the, the prince that he fled his hometown. It was mm. only him now. I, mean, I love, I don't know, there's just something about his aura. Like, he just has this. It was a lady's man. You must say he was a lady's man. You know, you no, know, okay, there are different meanings of ladies, um, ladies mm. man. Okay, so what's the definition of a ladies man? No, no, no. <laughs> What's your definition Don't of a ladies' man? Don't put you on a spot no, no, no. I need to know. What's your definition of a ladies' man? Uh, you know, to some extent, it might mean a guy that has so many female friends that female are well, well let's like, like say, they confined and they easily like the man. Yeah, they good to try as well. Yeah, thank you. That's the word. And it can be someone that probably does not even have time for girls, but you know, girls just... Bad boy vibes. Yeah, like, you know yeah bad boy but bad. i mean probably that's that's the prince because he didn't really have time to you know do this he was just all about doing what he thinks is right and liberating his people but then he was he was good looking so yeah Ooh. he, he, was, he was good come on he was good looking okay now. so he's a fine boy yeah, he's a, yeah. okay so let me switch our nigerian <laughs> to brotherhood and blood sisters so polo um this question will go to you so I wanted to ask, um, both both films are about crime. 
normal crime, blood sisters of our mother, motherhood, gang and gang and all that. So when you say okay, um in our present world, looking at motherhood and blood sisters, um okay, once in a while, just do it for blood. Cover up, even if it means doing the worst possible thing. Cover up. Is that right? No, in this present economy. He <laughs> use economy first. <laughs> <laughs> because oh, most of these things that we do watch, they are all fictitious. Because you watch some scenes, I see um, this is a movie that you know if you have for real world. But let's so, say if th that is the question, if if it's a conditional statement, let's let's put the word if. Uh, families, let me say, you know, anything they call families is a strong word. <laughs> it's a very strong word because there are many things inside that word family. You have love, there's regret, there are sad moments, there are happy moments. Because uh, growing up, uh, growing up, you should understand what I'm saying. You have many situations that you have to cover for either your brothers or your sisters. And you know that at the end you really don't suffer for it. You know that kind of you know that kind of stuff. So in that film, relating into brotherhood, like the character first played there, like a policeman, let me say CID, and his brother was a thief. So that put falls in a tight corner. Because if he says he should defend his brother, that is not internal stuff. It's like external because if you say that you are siding, it's just like being a judge and it's your relative that you have to judge on. So if you say that you should make a judgment, people might think that you are being sentimental about it. So that part, it was, I, I won't say that first was a bad person, no. And I won't say that he does not like his brother, but the kind of behavior his brother was, let's say, was doing, does not like it. And I did mean he's not exposed to people. He would have he would have curbed him and changed him a little. That was what I think about that movie. And sisterhood. Sister on, on sisterhood. Okay, you're not as fine as brotherhood and sisterhood. <laughs> the lady, because on sisterhood, what I'll say is that that lady, because I'm trying to remember the scenes, most of the scenes. Because many things did bring. I'm just trying to remember the scene. So that lady, I was thinking that marriage was not supposed to happen. If the sister's hand, the, the senior sister's hand was not tied. But as it been the sister could do something about that marriage, not happening, she would have done it. But now during that marriage, the other one was not happy, which was the one that killed that, that stuff. So on killing the guy, if you notice, who was the first person the lady called? The sister, her sister. So that is to say, they built a connection they confide in each other mm. and that kind of parts at least it taught me a little now because you have to your you and your siblings you have to have a cordial relationship it's not only when you need money hello <laughs> hello sister okay, for me for that movie too uh, i don't think this girl um for the plus sisters like um indima i can't remember her character name yeah indima you know, she wanted to marry the guy, not because she wanted to, but it was because of family, if you can remember. Yeah. The parents pushed her to do that. So, for me, I can relate to that whole scenario to life. She killing uh, the guy because he was yeah. aggressive and was violent and white. Okay, not yet a white beater. Fiancé beater. Mm. Yeah, so... Whichever one, everything have words now, have me. So that was the things. And I don't know why that gun was there in the first place. Like, why is why is the guy holding a gun in your room? Like, why? And then you yourself shooting it out, like the only defense in you. I know I understand, I understand the whole thing because it was about to kill the sister. Uh, yeah. You can do anything. Omo, imagine somebody wants to kill your brother now. And then you say, Go, the person is the ah! You go carry that gun though. Yes. You, but I know there might be fear, but you might still shoot it. Right. Yeah. And the whole trying to cover the whole thing, I can actually relate that very, very well. I can relate that. Them covering, of course, if they come out and talk, nobody go believe. You don't have money. Who are you? 
Exactly. Who are you? So I can actually relate that. And to brotherhood. Mm, yeah, for fouls. And Toby. Huh, Toby was. Mm-mm. Wasn't such a very, very nice brother. He was. <laughs> well, like I say, he was just a troublemaker. One trouble today from another one to another one. For another one. Oh, more fouls don't tire. Fouls like you don't tire. So for him, not always there for him. For the brother, I can actually relate to that because sometimes you just leave them, let them. I don't know how to put it to just leave them as if like they are dead to you, if they can come back to their senses, mm-hmm. something like that. So I can actually relate him leaving the brother for a while, but now he's he wasn't actually like out of the brother's life, mm. he wasn't he was kind of embarrassed bringing so the boy, like the shadow. Yeah. Yeah. Shadow. yeah. So, which film will you say engaged you more like? I know when Brother Blood Sisters came out, um, I, I had work to do. Well, I think I just put on the movie. I watched the whole episode. Uh. Like, I was stuck. More than Brother Brotherhood, I was really skimping it a little. Mm. For me, Blood Sisters, Sisters, from the episode one, mm. two, three, mm. it just keeps hooking you. It was, it was like, interesting. Like, if you really finish this episode, you want to see the next Excellent. one? Like, what? And the whole the whole part of them traveling and they now got um uh, how would I put it inside the car of a um is it human traffic or something else? maybe organ trafficker yeah or yeah. 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 more like now this is not real life this thing because from one throw if you enter another one like Jesus yeah. so will you say that um huh? brotherhood and blood sisters relates more to what is happening in our current economy Nigerian economy ah hundred percent yeah. Mm. Mm. And we have, and we have scenarios that if your family is not that financial, yeah, and you have to find it, okay, and you be looking for chances at least to marry that with that one, so you can have, like, you can have a little money, and not thinking about that big that one, mm-hmm. what she's going to. If there's a scenario that the lady will complain that this is what my husband does, just to be like. You what is that? If you like your earlier coin, earlier coin, earlier coin, no. Understand what she's going to. Everything is not about money. Everything is not about money. She's going to domestic abuse, physical abuse, and you expect her to stay just because you are gaining money. You are. She's she's giving you money. Oh, the husband is rich, mm-hmm. and you are not even thinking about. Ah, she's your daughter. She's and when the whole daughter. thing now happened, you now remember that. She's your daughter. Mm-hmm. Ah, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that's bad. And the two things is just about family. Sacrifice. The two movies are about family and about money. Mm-hmm. About money. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. you can remember um, the brother who the, the and the guy is not rich as well. He yeah. wanted to be rich yeah. to do something. You know, when poverty is there, um, people do the unthinkable. <laughs> Crazy stuff. Yeah. I'm telling you, because <laughs> there is no way you see your child. And your child is telling you that your husband beats her. Be husband to be beats her. And you'll be like, What did you do? Are you okay? What you, the first question in the what did you do? Ah, what did you do? You're meant to, to do this one, do this one where I say, Ah, what happened? That what part, happened? That part of what did you do? You know, in some cases, imagine that because they are both new. Yeah. You might not be close to each other. You, you, you do you get where I'm get what you're saying? There are some things that the female will be closer to the father yeah. than the mother. So anything the lady say, the father will quickly understand. More than, more than the, the mother. mother. Mm-hmm. So I'm thinking that part. Because I think in some cases you have a lady saying mom, this thing happened. Immediately the mother will leave that that place and go and meet her daughter. Even aside that, you being the you get mom. My point. Yeah, you being the mom. Mm-hmm. Did your husband, her father, beat you when you did something wrong? Obviously, you do things wrong almost every time. You, you have to build that relationship between you. And you know your daughter as well. Seeing her grow up, you know her to an extent. It's that true. she might not really incite you so much for you to beat. But you, you have to, while going up, you have to build that relationship that if you see anything, say it. And you don't have to be keeping things to yourself. It's good and it's not good. Because it has the benefit, the advantage and disadvantage. But you see that the, your daughter should not be telling you anything. What if something bad happens to her? She, that's what happened in that moment. Mm. I didn't think they were able to confide in each other, in the mother, 
and they went and go far. Mm. Because that place was avoided. That scene was avoided of killing that guy was. Okay, so um, when we're talking about brotherhood, um, blood sisters, Dune and Rebel Moon. So these are all movies that let's say Dune and Rebel Moon came out this year. Mm-hmm. So we're in the half quarter of the year, yeah. first half. So I want you to just do like a ranking, your best ten movies for this year that made sense. First ten. Among all. This year. Yeah, this year. Ah. <clears throat> Because some movies of last stage, even this year I watched it too. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Okay, just okay, okay, five, first five, first five. Let me just my five. first five movies of the year. Ah, yeah. uh, okay. I won't rank them because it's all over the place in my head. Okay. But one of the five is Unexpected Places by Bimbo. Okay. That's a wonderful one. I uh, I like Big. Ah. Where did Beekeeper go before? I love Beekeeper. Okay. Yeah, Dune, even though it was annoying. Okay. Rebel Moon will be among. Okay. Better Flag is last year, no? Ah, which other one? Many one. Bridgerton, it just came out, so yeah. <laughs> okay, Bridgerton. Yeah. Oh, no. So, mine, we are not focusing on maybe Nigeria, we can choose anyone, yeah. right? So, my first one will be. I'm trying to remember. <laughs> so my first one will be Beekeeper. Okay. Because I like the yeah, the movie, hard. this and I, I like the the picture they are trying to paint on that movie. Okay. So the second will be a family full of. Okay, let's switch And you can't it is only on this year. This year. Uh I'll say dead serious. Dead serious. So Dead Serious 2 was okay. Dead Serious was okay. It's a summer love, but don't just let's say about love. It was about love. Then the third one. Fox. No, no, I'm not the third. I, I Did said. I miss an Nicola one. I miss. No, I was supposed to say that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the third one was Anicola Po, the return though. The guys of the Spectre. The guys of the Spectre. Yeah. yeah. That uh, one. Avatar. And the second. The, the fourth. I uh, okay. <laughs> the fourth, the fourth, I'll say the fourth was, Jag Jag was this year now. Jag Jag, no. Yeah. That's it. Okay. So the fourth will be, I've forgotten this film that Simini did. Simini did some, the film he did, I forgot and I just watched it recently. Tribe of Judah. Uh, Tribe of Judah too, yes. Last Type of Judah. Last and year. also, there's one film he just did. Something hot pot, something like that. Oh. Hot yes. pot. Is it hot pot? No, something pot. With, what's this girl name? Uche Montana. Uche Montana. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. That film, I love that thing because Timini was there. <laughs> so, <laughs> and also, my two favorites <laughs> was there. Yeah. Yeah. So, I don't like him like that. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. We get, we get, we get, mm-hmm. we get. So, the fifth one. I'm so coming. You don't mention that many. No, 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 no. I've mentioned four. Okay, fifth So the fifth two. one is actually a Yoruba movie. Day. Okay. Yeah. I like the Yoruba movie. It was, it was, uh, what was the name again? Uh, so I'm trying to remember. Oh, sorry, sorry. I'm trying to remember. I'm sorry, I'm trying to remember. So that one was, I would say it was, let me say, say, Limo Okibado. <laughs> because that film was just comedy. Mm. Uh, yes. Let me just see that fight. Well, so you just that fight. from so best one. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to this one. I'm I need to let me you, easy go. You oh. said we should just mention five. Uh, they have plenty uh, too. <laughs> <laughs> you just you okay. see that also five. Just stop here for today. Um more contents will drop in. Can't watch Bridgeton. If you haven't watched Bridgeton. Mm. And check out Breath of Life. It's also a nice movie. Um, so that's it for us for now. We'll see you guys. We love you.